Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be the first of a series. It's going to be an 18 handbag unboxing series. Yes, you heard that right. A dozen and a half handbags that I have never unboxed on my channel. Now you have seen these particular handbags in collection videos. But when I do an unboxing, I really do an unboxing. I like to focus on the details of the bag. I like to show you mod shots. I sometimes will compare the bag to other bags. And I haven't done that with these 18 bags. And so after asking for your feedback in a previous video, everybody said, yes, do the unboxings. So I'm gonna box these bags up or dust bag them up or whatever I can do. And I'm gonna show you these 18 bags. These bags are all pre-YouTube purchases, meaning that I had these before I started my YouTube channel. And the first bag that I'm going to show you is a coach bag. And I am super excited to show this beauty up close and personal. Now I put her in a matches fashion box because I've thrown away every coach box that I have. Normally I will save some of the luxury boxes. So for the 18 bag unboxing series, you will see some boxes that the bags might have actually come in, although I don't keep track. But in this case, I'm using a matches fashion box and I saved this box because their boxes are beautiful. So I figured why not use this one for whenever I do an unboxing and I don't have a box. I think I have like four unboxings where I may not have a box, but in a couple of cases I can use a gift bag but not with Coach unless I can sneak one from them this weekend. I'm going up to Coach in Kansas City, and so I should be able to do a tour of the store for you, show you what's new, so stay tuned for that video. I'm going tomorrow, actually. But let's go ahead and get into this box and let me show you what I've got for you. Without further ado, yay! So I have this bag in a Coach 1941 dust bag. This is the only piece of true Coach 1941 that I still have. Now they discontinued the 1941 line, so even if you see a bag that looks like it's 1941, generally it doesn't have that 1941 stamp somewhere on it or on the hang tag. I think there may be a few exceptions with Rogues the hang tag will say coach coach, but you can still find that stamp on them somewhere that says 1941. But the beauty I'm going to show you today is the beautiful, beauty beautiful, I'm saying lots of words that are the same. This is the K-Facet Troop Chain Shoulder Bag, I think, or Troop Crossbody. There are a couple different terms you may need to search if you want to try to find one of these on the pre-love market. But this one is from the Cave Facet collaboration with Coach. Cave Facet is a textile artist. He does a lot of draperies and fabrics. And he collaborated with Coach to do a combination of floral prints on their beautiful leather. And it has texture and color. And I just think that these pieces are fabulous. I was quite a collector of the Cave Facet Coach collaboration. And now I don't have as many pieces, but this one I think is here to stay. I never want to say that for sure because I have cycled through a lot of pieces, but I can't imagine getting rid of this bag. I think it's just absolutely stunning. And when I talk to you about the hang tag on the newer bags, not say 1941, what I meant was right there. You can see it says coach on the top in 1941. The older 1941 pieces all say that. And then most of them have a stamp somewhere, like on the Rogues, it's underneath the tab on the side. And that's where I think that there are still some exceptions where the current pieces may still have a 1941 stamp. But all of the new hang tags, so far as I know, say coach on the top and coach on the bottom instead of coach and then 1941. I don't really think it makes that much of a difference, but at one time, if a bag had 1941 on it, it was considered like a premium or a luxury version of coach bags. And this is definitely a luxury version of coach bags. So we have what they call glove tanned pebbled leather, and then we have this artwork printed on it. And you can see it like 
literally it looks like it's lifting off of the leather, but it's not. It's just three-dimensional. It is, in my opinion, one of the most stunning bags in my collection. I also love the Coach hardware that is brass because it is incredibly durable. And when you look at the chain with the leather woven through it, honestly, I don't think Chanel can beat this. I mean, this is this is some fancy work here. This is high, high quality and it's just fabulous. The other thing I really love about the K-Facet pieces is they're generally all a little different. And in this particular one, I know that the patterns that were on these two pieces were really varied. I think it was always pretty similar up here, um, but then what you got down here would vary as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's cool because that makes each individual bag more unique. As far as the other handbags in my collection, there's one that I would compare this bag to most closely, and that would be my Chanel Classic Flap in the medium large size. Now you can see the bags are different in size. The Chanel is wider across, and the depth is pretty similar, but keep in mind that the troop will expand. And if you consider capacity, I think they're pretty similar because the Chanel has a double flap and that does limit the interior space. But I guess the reason why the vibes are so similar is because of the chain. I mean, I just feel like that makes them kind of look alike to me and it also makes their functionality kind of seem the same. I consider a chain bag to be a bit of a dressier bag in my collection. But I did wanna bring out the Chanel. I don't usually bring her out to visit and she is a gorgeous bag that I had restored a long, long time ago by Leather Surgeons. She didn't need much. I'll get more into that later because this is gonna be one of the 18 bags I unbox as well. We're gonna really look at her up close and personal very soon. So let us take a peek inside this beauty. And I have a surprise. This is actually more like a triple unboxing, not a triple handbag unboxing, but definitely a triple coach unboxing because I have two more items inside to show you. First of all, I wanted to show you that my cell phone, and this is the 13 Pro case. I've got a 14 Pro now that I'm filming on, but it does fit in that front pocket comfortably. The interior of this bag is all that glove tan leather and it is luscious. I have another K facet piece right here. Now this is a floral design printed on their canvas and it's not like an exact match, but there's a lot of overlap in colors, which makes it a fun accessory to use with this bag. The accordion card holders by Coach, I don't think that they're making them exactly like this anymore, but I do see similar card holders from time to time on the website. They generally, I think, have a C on the front where they buckle, but when you spread this out, you'll see it has a lot of the same leather patterns that the bag that I'm showing you has, and I think that is just so fun and unique and different. Also, the capacity of this is quite large. You can hold a lot of cards in there. And it's pretty compact considering that. And I could fill it even more. But I do love the accordion card holder by Coach. It's extremely well made. And I'm extremely glad that I got a hold of this when I did. Let's look further into the bag and see what the other reveal is, I guess. And that would be this card holder. So this is like an exact match to this bag, and it is the glove tan pebbled leather again with the printed floral design. I think this is more of a men's wallet, believe it or not, because of this emblem on the front, but I had to have this. I picked it up, I think, from Mercari. I picked the bag up, I think, from Mercari as well quite some time ago, and this card holder, it has one two and then a slot in the middle but i can fit four or five cards in there comfortably and it hasn't gotten really anywhere to speak of despite daily use for quite a long time so that is a testament to the coach glove tan leather so now you've seen the three items let's look at the handbag a little bit more the only part of this handbag that is not leather is inside here 
It is in the 1941 textile type fabric. You can see that up close. It is a higher quality weave than like the microfiber or sometimes coach will put like another type of a jacquard or a satin lining inside. And this is considered their premium material. Look at that. I still have the sticker on the hardware. That wasn't intentional, but it's on there. And I think that the tags even say coach 1941. Yes, the zipper tabs also say Coach 1941 on them. So as I'm holding this bag, you'll see that it really does expand to hold all of your goodies. You don't want to really overload it at the top because it does fold in like that. But I can definitely fit the same amount that I might fit in a Prada edition inside this bag, if not a little bit more. So I did put on a dress for you today. Woo! I don't usually do that, but I'm a little bit dressed up because this bag deserves a dressier outfit. So I thought I would go ahead and try it on and show you how it hangs. Before I do though, I do want to tell you that this bag also comes in black and then it also came in a blue color called Cadet Blue and the sides were a snakeskin. I actually owned that one at one time. I considered the black, but I ended up, I don't wear black bags a lot and the ones I have are kind of luxurious. I mean, not that this isn't luxurious, but like the Chanel and the Alma BB and Empreint and those are kind of the extent of my black handbags. Well, I say that. That's not true. I could go on and on. But I don't have that many black and gold handbags because I just don't tend to wear them a lot. And so I didn't want to get this one in black and gold because I knew it wouldn't be used before this floral version, let's just say. But if you're looking for a Chanel lookalike bag, I know this is different in some ways, but I think it kind of gives you the same feel. So if you did want to pick up one that was all black on the pre-love market, that might really be an option for you. And it wouldn't look like you were copying because it's not a dupe or anything. It has its own personality, but it would be used in the same circumstances. And then also you can just use it or a Chanel classic flap anytime. So let me go ahead and try her on. I got this dress quite some time ago. I really have no idea what brand it is, but I thought it would suit this bag perfectly. And I think it does. You can see that this bag has a very nice shoulder drop if you wanna wear it this way, but it does come down a bit lower than the Chanel Classic flap would. And you can see that by looking at it. A lot of people, when they get a Chanel Classic flap, will send it in and have the chain lengthened because they do want to be able to wear it crossbody. And it is like impossible to wear this bag crossbody. I mean, it's just way too high. But with the troop, that's not the case. Now I'm 5'8 and I'm about 145 pounds and you can see that that hits me in a really good spot. And even if I were 5'10, you know, it might come to here, but it would still be okay. And if I was 5'6 or 5'4, you know, it might come down to here, but that would still be okay too. So this bag is actually, I think, designed better in terms of the strap length than the Chanel bag. I also feel like it's every bit as durable, if not more durable, with the glove tan pebbled leather and the floral print on top of it. Now I guess what I want to do is go ahead and load this bag up so I can use it. I haven't used it in a long time and heck, I'm dressed and ready to go, so why not? My bag of the video prior to this moment is this St. Laurent Lou camera bag. They've redesigned this bag. Like now it has a back pocket on it, which a lot of people love, but it never bothered me that I got one that didn't. The only thing about this one that bothers me is the darn how it domes up in the front, but the leather is so luscious, it's worth it. Let's go ahead and pull out what I have inside. First, I've got some cash in this Felici zip pouch. And you can see that slides right in. So the Felici inserts would work great in this bag. Then I have two Louis Vuitton keyclays. I keep gift cards and all kinds of other cards in those two key pouches. I could put one of them down and one of them up. It still closes when it's up. I have this pouch that has all of my like sharp things or things that might be just a tiny bit messy, like my concealer. If a little bit gets on the edge of the concealer, I would rather it be on the inside of this than on the inside of my handbag. That slides right in front. What else do I have in my bag? 
I have a few things that I should have put under the pouch, and so I'm going to do that real quick. So those are under the pouch now. I'm going to put the pouch on top. There we go. It's getting pretty full. I can still get it closed. You can see it still closes, but it's getting pretty full. I think I'm almost done here. Um, I've got two car keys. I really don't need to though. I'm going to just put in one of my car keys. One is for my son's car and he's still learning to drive. I've got my AirPods case. That is an absolute essential for listening to YouTube videos when I'm on the go. Then the last two items, I have the St. Laurent card case and I have a glasses cleaning cloth. I don't know if it's all gonna fit, to be honest with you. I might have to eliminate a small other good, but let's just give it a shot. So it'll all fit, but man, it is a little bit snug. That's not how I want it to look. So I do have a center pocket here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate one of the card cases. And I do this all the time with smaller bags. I'll eliminate a card case and then use the pockets of that particular bag. So there she is with one less card case. I could also put the cash from the insert inside there and that would maybe open up space for my phone case as well. Okay, so that is looking a lot nicer than it did. This side's just still a tiny bit large. There we go. So I've got it all loaded up. I think that that's a pretty good arrangement there. You can see in the back, I've got two card holders and my car key. And then in the front, I've got the pouch, the glasses wipe, my AirPods case, and underneath it are those few bits that I told you about. I don't know if I could comfortably fit my phone case inside without it bulging. Let's give it a try. And yes, it does close. As you can see, I don't really think it's too strained. Maybe just a little bit in the front. Does it look strained, but not bad. And I don't leave my phone in my purse very often. I usually have it in my hand. That's kind of sad, I know, but it's usually in my hand. So I'm okay with being able to just pop it in there when I need to be hands-free and then keeping it out of the handbag when I don't need to be hands-free. So I think that's a wrap. You know what fits, you know how it looks, you know, about the durability, you know about the artist. What else can you need to know? The glazing's held up on this bag wonderfully. I just love it. I think it's so beautiful, and I would be curious to see what your thoughts are on this particular bag. If you would be interested in picking up one in this particular combo, which is really hard to find, or maybe one of the solid colors, like the black or the cadet blue. Now remember, the cadet has the snake on the side, and it is real snake. So just keep that in mind. Anyhow, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.